Hello everyone, I'm Bill and this is In the Library. Today, I'll be discussing a very interesting, very funny travel book, Round Island with a Fridge by Tony Hawks. So, let's turn some pages. It all started with a drunken bet that was memorialized in a note. A friend of Hawks bet him 100 pounds that he, Hawks, can't hitchhike around the circumference of island with a small fridge in one month's time. Hawks, an Englishman whose main job is comedian and sometimes show host, thinks about it for a while after trying to remember actually agreeing to the scheme and then decides to do it. Why? Because it's a stupid and pointless thing to do. And sometimes you just have to do something stupid and pointless. And so it begins. And in the spring of 1997, with all the details hashed out, Ox leaves northbound out of Dublin for his journey. The idea is to travel counterclockwise in a Dublin to Dublin round trip, including time in the Northern Ireland and Tory Island. As Hawks sets off, people think he's a bit strange for doing this, but after an interview on national radio and other media along the way, people start getting on board with the idea. And the fridge man is born. About halfway through the trip, the fridge itself is named and christened Sir Royce Malloy and blessed by the mother superior of a convent. It even goes surfing, and it's signed by people along the way. In the end, Hawks finds that maybe it wasn't such a pointless thing after all. It was a journey of discovery and self-discovery discovery of the people and places of Ireland, how kind and fun and beautiful they are, and the country itself, the land and sea. Self-discovery in that there's a world bigger than one person. He may be the creator of the fridge movement, but there are people out there looking for something, and we are all in it together. Hey, you want more behind the scenes, early access, and all kinds of other goodies? Check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description. This book is a hybrid of thoughtful autobiography and funny Bill Bryson style travelogue. I really enjoyed reading this book, and not only did it renew my desire to visit the Emerald Island myself, it really made me wonder if anyone has done this around the U.S. If not, maybe when I retire. Let me know in the pinned comment if you would do something like this. And if so, where would you go? And have you been to Ireland yourself? I really recommend this book. Check out this playlist here for more book reviews. Thank you for watching, and please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.